let's have a look at the 2020 Higher Admin and IT assignment. And the first thing to do is to familiarise yourself with the files, the electronic files. Now you know you're going to be tested on spreadsheets, databases, Word document, PowerPoint. And you'll see here, they're all there, and you're going to have to do something with all of these files. The next thing is to look at the task itself. It's quite clear what the scenario is. A food festival, a new event for producers showcasing food and drinks held last week in August. You are the admin assistant for Lucy Wallace and you've been asked to complete a to-do list. Now when you look at the to-do list you'll see the first task is to manage an electronic diary. That's why the date in August is important. The second task is a Word document which is completing a letter to exhibitors. And then we move on to the third thing. Now it's not clear if this is a Word or Excel or Access, but it will become clear when you read it. So here we have the Western Isles Cheese Company. They've been in contact. They're looking to find out if there are any plots still available. They have particular requirements regarding undercover, the budget, what they need on site. And your task is to print a list of available plots within the area and matching their requirements. So the first thing you have to work out is, is this an access, a database task? Is this a spreadsheet task? And even if you're not sure at this point, the clue will be in the electronic files because you'll see here, this is to do with food exhibitors. And you'll see here, we do have a database on food festival exhibitors. So this is a database task. So you need to open up the food festival exhibitors database and you will see once you've opened it that there are three tables within this database. And what I suggest you do is open up each table first to familiarise yourself with what is in there because this will help you for when you have to do your database query and report later on. So looking at the first one then, quite straightforward, we've got a category and a category name. Looking at the plots, let's have a look here. So we've got a plot number, okay. We've got the area, marquee, food hall and outdoor. We have a field that's showing a tick is booked, therefore blank must be still available. We have got a cost and we've got these amenities extras that exhibitors might want. All right, and then let's look at the exhibitors. And here we'll see there's various company names already in the database table with contact address and you'll see there they've got the category ID and the plot number which are linked to the other tables and then we also know if they have paid or if they have not paid. Another thing that might be useful is just to have a quick look and see if these tables are linked together. I can see they are actually because we have plot numbers and category ID, but if you want to just double check, if you go up to database tools and then look on relationships, you will see how these three tables are linked together. So we've got primary keys here with category ID that links to the exhibitors and then we have the plot number and then again linked to the exhibitors. So we've had a good look at the tables and how they're linked together and now we have to tackle the to-do list number three. So now we have to create the query. Go up to create and then click on query design and you'll notice here you have all the tables available to you and it might be one table, it might be two, it might be all three depending on the information you need. Now, for this task, actually, we only need the exhibitor plots table. So we're going to double click and here we have it. And if we just bring it down, you'll see we've got plot number, area, booked, plot cost and amenities. It's all the things that we need to complete this task. So if you remember, the potential exhibitor, the Western Isles Cheese Company, are looking for a plot to find out if it's available. And if you look down at the bottom here, you'll be asked to print a list of available plots. So the first thing we can do is click on plot number, double click on it. That's the first thing in our query. If I run it, you're not going to see much, but if you run it, you'll see there's all the plot numbers. Back to design view and let's think of the next criteria that we need. So 
Next thing is they want to know if they have any suitable plots available. And again, you will see there's a field here that's got either booked or not. And if you remember, that was a tick for yes, it was booked or blank square means no, not booked. So if I click on booked and then under criteria, I type in no. If you have a look, if you run it now, you'll see Again, it's not showing as much at all, but it's got all the plots and those ones are unticked means these are still available back to design view. What else are they looking for? They are looking for a site which is under cover. So therefore, we need to find the area. So let's look at area. First of all, I'm going to run it again and you'll see here for the plots that are available, we've got marquee, we've got foot hall, we've got outdoor. All right, so we only want either marquee or food hall. So back to design and under criteria, we can type in marquee or food hall. And let's run that. Okay, and here we have now we're narrowing it down. Notice that I keep going back and forward. I think it's really helpful when you're doing a query that's got lots of things asking you to do lots of things that just keep running it one at a time just to have a look to see to make sure has that worked? Has it worked? Has it worked? In these three cases, yes, it has. Let's go back to design view again. What else are they looking for? You'll see here they've got a maximum budget of £400. So therefore we need the plot cost. If I was to run it just like this I can see there's a, a few of them under £400 but there's a few over £400. So back again and we have to actually find out all the plots that cost less than £400. So under criteria let's type in less than or equal to 400. Let's now run it and see it's been narrowed down even further. Let's keep going. What else? The next thing is that they don't have their own on tip refrigeration and need to access ours. So now we're looking at the amenities. Let's bring the amenities down. Let's have a look first and see what they've got. Now what they're particularly asking for is refrigeration and extra wide display. This can be quite tricky because you'll notice under amenities refrigeration unit is um, is in the middle of this line of text so we're going to have to bring out refrigeration unit and extra wide display. So let's try and see if we can do it. So if I just type in refrigeration unit and let's have a run there. Now look what's happened. It's gone blank. So either I've made a spelling mistake or it's not understanding what it's been asked to do. So the first thing to do is back to design view. All right, if I just take that out for a moment just to show you and let's just uh, um, run it again. Right, I think I spelled refrige as and I think I put a D in there. So let's just try again. In fact, what I might just do is I might just highlight that, control C, back into design put it into amenities, control V, to make sure I've got the right spelling. I'll take out the comma there. Like that, let's run it again. Still doesn't like it. And that is because the refrigeration unit is essentially um, in the middle of a line of text. So how we can sort that is go back to design view and before the R, put a little asterisk and then after the T, put a little asterisk and then let's run that. And now we can see it's bringing out refrigeration unit. But remember, we've also been asked to do the extra wide display. So we have to go back into our design view. We also need to find extra wide display. So we have to type in after the word unit, type in the word and, then do a speech mark, then an asterisk, and then type in extra wide display. We'll do an asterisk and then a speech mark. Let's run that and now you see we're left with just three plot numbers that are not booked in an area that's not undercover with a plot, co plot cost that's £400 or less that includes refrigeration and extra wide display. By doing the query and running it one at a time to get to this point, then any mistakes you've made along the way, you'll, you'll find them and be able to sort them out before you move on. 
So the last thing we need to do for the third task from the to-do list is to print off your query. Now you're actually asked to only print off plot number, area, plot cost and amenities. We have the booked column still showing. So before you print, go back to view, back to design and then if we just untick the booked column, run it again for a look and there we have the query we're being asked to print off.